let us understand about international marketing so we will start with the meaning and the definition of international marketing so international marketing is basically the process that directs the flow of goods and services and other resources from one country to another okay so international marketing is a place where marketing is beyond the national borders so it is it can be said as a business activity that directs the flow of goods services ideas and other resources from producers or suppliers of one nation to the consumers or suppliers of another nation so that was about what can we understand um, about the meaning of international marketing now american marketing association has given the definition of international marketing so let us understand that what is um, um, given in the definition so as you can read over here that in the words of american marketing association international marketing is the process of planning and executing planning and executing planning and executing so the meaning of the word executing is to implement okay to practically do something so international marketing is the process of planning and executing the conception conception meaning um idea what is the idea behind your product or your service so idea so um i'll repeat it again in the words of american marketing association international marketing is the process of planning and executing the conception pricing promotion and distribution but about what what are you going to uh, price what are you going to promote how are what are you going to distribute so what is the ideas goods and services to create exchanges between nations this is important exchanges between nations that satisfy individual and organizational objectives so basically when a firm decides to uh, sell its goods beyond the geographical boundaries of its country that is called as international marketing okay so i'll repeat it once again in the words of american marketing association international marketing is what first word is it is the process okay it's a lengthy process it's not a one day process it's a lengthy process so in the words of american marketing association international marketing is the process of what of planning and executing planning meaning um, it's more on more theoretical and executing is more on the practical side so basically you have to do both of, both the things about what what are you going to plan and what are you going to execute so you are going to plan and execute the idea about uh, idea behind the product the pricing of the product how are you going to promote the product and how are you going to distribute that product so about it's not necessary that it has to be goods or product it can be any of your ideas or it can be any of the services that you want to provide to create exchanges between nations that satisfy individual and organizational objectives so i hope this makes uh international marketing uh, easy for you ahead there will be a lot more things connected to international marketing that is uh, the features of international marketing the scope of international marketing what are the motivating factors of international marketing and lot more so this is all about the international marketing's meaning and its definition thank you so now 
let us understand about the features or characteristics of international marketing international marketing has a lot of features or characteristics what do you mean by the word features features is nothing but the attribute or the traits of a particular thing so how is it that you can very well define um, the characteristics of international marketing so the very first point is process so what i'm going to do right now is that i will just read out all of these pointers and after that i am going to explain you each and every point in detail so international marketing is a process as you know large scale operation dominance of multinational corporations tariff and non tariff barriers presence of trading blocks foreign exchange regulations three faced competition international forum international marketing research and documentation these are the 10 main and important features of or characteristics of international marketing now in the next slides we will understand all of them in detail so the very first feature of international marketing is that it is a process now i will mention some of the key words which you should mention whenever you want to write anything under process so uh, international marketing is not just a process but it is a systematic process it is a systematic process of what of developing and distributing the goods and services in the overseas market okay so for that a uh, international marketing manager would require to undertake various marketing activities such as marketing research product design branding packaging pricing promotion distribution and a lot more so first the marketing manager will have to collect the right information from the right source analyze all of them properly and then take systematic international international marketing decisions so the uh, marketing manager will have to undertake a lot of research activities in terms of what in terms of product design right product design then what else branding packaging pricing distributing right and even some of the marketing research will be required because um the marketing manager will have to take care about uh okay so i made a mistake so i can take a eraser and rub it and then i can go back and say that um, marketing research okay marketing research is uh, you are researching about a particular say you are researching about a particular con- country so if, say for example so maybe um, say for example just for example i can say that maybe you are um, trying to know a lot more about japan okay so what are the likes and dislikes of the japan uh, japanese people then what are the um, uh, what are their preferences what is it that they like more uh, what are their religious sentiments um, uh, what is what is their culture all about will they accept things will they accept the product that you are going to export so you need to take care about all of those things because even before deciding about product design or branding or packaging or pricing or even distributing this is the most important thing and that is marketing research so a marketing uh, a marketing manager will have to carry out a lot of research so that uh, they are very much sure 
about the product being sold in that country so you will export as a firm you will export to that country but just the japanese people should also like that product and uh, buy that product so for that they will have to confirm a lot of things and all of those things will be included under marketing research so basically they will try to know more about their culture their ethnicity their preferences their likes dislikes their tastes and so on and so forth so all of these activities will have to be carried out before carrying out marketing uh, um, uh, international marketing activities so the very first thing that you have to remember is that it is a systematic process okay where a marketing manager will have to carry out all of these activities right a lot of research activities basically so you can say marketing research product design what will be the design of the product how are you going to brand and pack the product what will be the price of the product how are you going to promote the product all of these things have to be carried out by an international marketing manager so it's a lengthy process and it's a systematic process okay so everything will be done in the process so that's the first point which is process now let us go to the second point the second point talks about large scale operation now whenever anybody any firm tries to go and enter into international marketing that is i am international marketing they understand this one concept and that is large scale operations right so that is basically the pointer itself so large scale operations meaning um, economies of scale which is nothing but bulk production because when you uh, produce in bulk that means you are buying your raw materials also in bulk you are buying your raw materials in bulk your production will be more so it will basically reduce okay it will reduce what will it reduce it will reduce the transportation cost and also if there is any handling which is included logistics all of its prices will reduce and therefore when it will reach to the ultimate consumer you can charge high prices also while you can charge high price while you know that your cost of production cop your cost of production was low so that's about the large scale operation so whenever international marketing is carried out it is always carried out in bulk right so unlike domestic marketing which uh, may be carried out on a smaller scale international marketing is operated on a large scale so it is carried in bulk quantity so as to derive to the benefits of large scale selling in respect of transportation and handling costs so that is about large scale operation now we'll go to the next point the third point is dominance of multinational corporations so international marketing is dominated by mncs and large corporations so mncs from usa europe japan okay they are all playing a dominant role in foreign trade because they are in the position to develop world contacts through their network of uh, their network of branches or their network of offices so therefore international marketing is dominated by multinational corporations let us go to the next point the fourth point now the fourth point is talking about tariff and non tariff barriers so tariff is uh, related to the monetary aspect 
and non tariff as from the name you can understand that it is uh, related to the non monetary factors. So, monetary is nothing but related to cash or money you can say and here this is not not related to money. So, any importing country can impose lot of tariff and non tariff barriers. So, a country can impose barriers with cash or not related to cash or not related to money. So, all of these barriers are carried out by every importing country. So, what I can say is that international trade is subject to a lot of tariff and non tariff barriers. Uh, the restrictions are mostly imposed by the importing country so as to restrict imports so that the dumping of goods is not there. So every international firm should have a clear study of various trade barriers imposed by different countries so as to the uh, so, uh, so as to carry out the international trade more efficiently and more effectively. So that was one of the feature of international marketing. Let us go to the fifth point. So, the fifth point is presence of trading blocks. So, what are trading blocks? So, trading blocks is um, certain nations, you know, they come together and form a, from a, form a group. So, basically countries, you can say that countries come together, countries form group. And why, why do they create group? Why, why? Basically, it is to reduce basically it is to reduce or eliminate eliminate what basically the trade barriers okay in the last point in the last point we talked about tariff and non tariff barriers right so th those were nothing but the trade barriers so there are countries who come together to eliminate trade barriers basically so, um, and you know, certain nations, they come together and form for their mutual benefit. Basically, if these trade barriers are reduced or eliminated totally, then those countries um, uh, will have some mutual benefit. Okay. And with that, what is also going to happen is a lot of ED, which is economic development. Okay. And... Uh, um, if I have to name a few of the powerful uh, trading blocks, those are NAFTA, EU, that is European Union, then uh, you have uh, ASEAN, so that is Association of Southeast Asian Nations, this is uh, North American Free Trade uh, Trade Area. Okay, so and EU is uh, European Union. So these are some of the trading blocks. So once again, let me repeat. So presence of trading blocks. So international marketing uh, trading blocks are included in that. So uh, trading blocks. What are trading blocks? Basically, there are some certain countries who uh, certain uh, certain nations that form trading block for mutual benefit and economic development. Uh, and the main purpose of such blocks is to reduce or eliminate trade barriers among the member nations. Okay, and um, the international marketer uh, should have a good knowledge about the regulations of such trading blocks. And uh, if you have to name the few trading uh, few trading blocks, some of the famous trading blocks, you can say NAFTA, EU, and ASEAN. Let's, uh, let us go to the next point. So yes, the next point is foreign exchange regulations. So foreign exchange regulations is nothing but the various, form of various forms of controls that are imposed by the government on purchase and sale of foreign currencies by residents or purchase or sale of local currencies by the non-residents. The common foreign exchange regulation include restrictions on the amount of currency that may be import or imported or exported. So uh, foreign exchange regulations um, uh, 
international trade is subject to foreign exchange regulations so for instance you can say that in india international marketers should realize their international proceeds within a period of 180 days from the date of shipment so a lot of foreign exchange regulations are there so in foreign exchange regulations what um, the key words what you can understand is that uh, first you can say that international marketing is subject to foreign exchange so it is subjected yeah it is included so it is subjected to foreign exchange regulations and uh, um, basically it is nothing but the purchase or sale of foreign currencies by um, uh, foreign currencies by residents or um, local currencies by non-residents so yeah uh, and all of these regulations are imposed by the government imposed by the government okay so that is about this point let us go to the next point now the next point is three-phased competition so now in international marketing will face competition from three sides now how is it that uh, basically the exporter the exporter is going to face competition from three sides now how is it going to be done so i have an example which i have written right now over here say um wait a second okay uh i have say for example just this is just an example okay nothing much but just an example so for example if i tell you that um, uh, india is exporting tea to japan if india is exporting tea to japan india is the exporter and japan is the importer so india is the exporter and japan is the importer now three faced competition i have mentioned all the three sides the first side other suppliers of the exporters country that means here who is the exporter country india india so other suppliers of the exporters country other suppliers of india so if uh, one supplier is selling tea to india he has competition of many more suppliers who can sell tea to japan who can sell tea to japan then local producers of the importing country importing country what is the importing country japan japan is the importing country and exporters of competing nations so now it is not just that india can sell tea to japan there are so many other nations like you can say usa you can say canada right what else you can say you can say uh, singapore right all of these countries can also uh, sell uh, uh, tea to japan so exporters of competing nations so there must be there must be many many nations who are also selling uh, uh, tea to japan so exporting tea to japan so these these are the three phase of the competition first is other suppliers of the exporters country second is local producers of the importing country and third is exporters of competing nations now let us go to the next point so the next point is international forum so you should know that international trade is regulated by a lot of international forums like wto and unctad okay now wto is uh, the full form is world trade organization and uh, it is concerned with the regulation of international trade between nations and the main purpose of wto is reduction in tariff and non tariff barriers okay similarly these are all international forums what is the meaning of the word forum forum means nothing but a meeting or you can say a gathering okay or um, you can say like a conference okay so international conference international gathering international meeting uh, meeting and that that just means the word forum okay and unctad first of all what is the full form of unctad 
so the full form of UNCTAD is U United Nations Conference on Trade and Development and it was uh, established in the year 1964 and uh, basically what does UNCTAD do? UNCTA also does the same thing it deals um, uh, uh, the deal in trade, investment and development issues. So that is about international forum and the important thing that you should know over here is that international marketers from all over the world should have a thorough knowledge of the rules and regulations of such forums. Okay, let us go to the next point. So the next point is international marketing research. So knowing more about your consumers, dealers and competitors is must not only in the domestic market but also in the international markets. So marketing, uh, marketing research is must in international business uh, due to various factors because the, uh, you know every place is different, every nation is different. So uh, there are there is a lot of difference in um, the they are social cultural okay social just a minute I made a mistake so social cultural uh, then you know they are social environment they are cultural environment they are economic they are economic environment then um, political environment then uh, you can say about their tastes their preferences their likes their dislikes their um, you know uh, their beliefs their beliefs what do they believe what are you know you know every nation have their own superstitions they believe in something so you you know every every um, uh, international marketing manager should research about all these things before carrying out business with an another country so uh, basically what is going to happen how is it going to benefit so uh, you know international marketing research will help to design company offerings as per the need and expectations of overseas buyers let us go to the next point and the last point so the last point is documentation so exporting uh, export marketing is subject to various documentation formalities exporters require various documents to submit them to various authorities like port trust authorities custom authorities and these documents can uh, include uh, shipping bill okay now what is the shipping bill so basically it is the main document that is required by the custom authorities for clearance of goods so that is what is shipping uh, document the second one uh, is count consular invoice so consular invoice is um, certifying a shipment of goods and contains information such as the name of the consignor, the name of the consignee and the value of the shipment and a lot more details. So and uh, certificate of origin, very important for an exporter because uh, this document certifies that the goods uh, uh, um, that, that the goods in a particular export shipment are wholly uh, um, obtained, produced, manufactured or processed in a particular country, right? And they also serve as a declaration to the export by the exporter. So uh, this becomes very important for the exporter. All of these are important for from the exporter's point of view. Exporters point of view why because if the exporter don't have all of these documents and many more documents we have just mentioned three of them but if these documents are not there so then where when uh, when these shipments reach to the importing country they will be absolutely rejected 
so therefore documentation is the very last thing which is required in international marketing but the most important thing because if documentation itself is bogus or not correct or something which is incomplete then you cannot carry out international marketing it will be a big cross mark for your for any of the firm who wants to carry out international marketing all of this is a process and all of this is a systematic process so this was all about the features of international marketing thank you